Happy Resurrection Sunday. I trust that all is well with you and yours. Let us now get centered to close out officially our Lenten observance. Yesterday was the actual last day of Lent. And then today we celebrate Resurrection Sunday. Easter. Easter Sunday. So a few questions for consideration and then we'll begin our biblical reading. Question number one. What is the spiritual significance of Easter? What is the spiritual significance of Easter? It's very important to make the distinction from the religiosity and the festivities of it all. Number two, what is the resurrection? Number three, how is resurrection accomplished? And finally, number four, why was Jesus born into the race thought? Christ within me is the resurrection and the life. Christ within me is the power that enables me to rise triumphant out of every trial. Call it forth. So, our biblical passage for consideration for this final meeting observing Lent is the Gospel of John, chapter 20. We are going to read verses 1 through 18. I'm reading out of the New American Standard Bible 2020. Again, that passage is John chapter 20, verses 1 through 18. And it reads on this wise. Now, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came early to the tomb while it was still dark and saw the stone already removed from the tomb. So she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and said to them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple left, and they were going to the tomb. The two were running together, and the other disciple ran ahead faster than Peter and came to the tomb first. And he stooped to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there. However, he did not go in. So Simon Peter also came following him, and he entered the tomb. And he looked at the linen wrappings lying there, and the face cloth, which had been on his head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but folded up in a place by itself. So the other disciple who had first come to the tomb also entered then, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. So the disciples went away again to their own homes. But Mary was standing outside the tomb weeping so as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head 
and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been lying. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they put him. When she, when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, and yet she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Thinking that he was the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you put him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop clinging to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father, and your Father, and my God, and your God. Mary Magdalene came and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. Thus ends the reading. We return now to our text for Lenten Reflection, Keep a True Lent by Charles Fillmore. We are on page 197. Again, celebrating Resurrection Sunday or Easter Sunday. Closing out our Lenten observance. Let us continue. Easter is the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus. Its inner meaning and spiritual significance is the awakening and raising to spiritual consciousness of the I am in man, which has been dead in trespass and sin and buried in the tomb of materiality. I came that they may have life and may have it abundantly. The resurrection is the raising up of the whole man, spirit, soul, and body into the Christ consciousness of life and wholeness. This Jesus did. The tomb could not hold his redeemed, perfected body temple. Resurrection is accomplished by the quickening power of the Holy Spirit. Every time we rise to the realization of eternal indwelling life, making union with the Father mind, the resurrection of Jesus takes place within us. All thoughts of limitation and inevitable obedience to material law are left in the tomb of materiality. Jesus was born into the race thought so that he might reconstruct it in conformity with the divine law. He thus became our way shower, our savior, our helper. Today, the light of truth is illumining my mind and I rise up in the majesty of my divine sonship and proclaim myself to be the child of the Most High free from all belief in sin sickness and death I affirm in unity with Christ I realize that I am resurrected into the life, light, and power of God. 
In unity with Christ, I realize that I am resurrected into the life, light, and power of God. In unity with Christ, I realize that I am resurrected into the life, light, and power of God. Let's take this affirmation one last time. In unity with Christ, I realize that I am resurrected into the life, light, and power of God. Thank you so much, beloved, for sticking with me this entire Lenten celebration. It has been so uh, enriching. It has been highly nourishing, invigorating, and it has strengthened my spirit. I would like for us to continue to study together. I'm not sure exactly what I would like to study next. Um, maybe not another Charles Fillmore text. Just so, you know, we can get some other ideas going. I was thinking Emma Curtis Hopkins or H. Emily Cady. Uh, maybe the Radiant I Am. I don't know. I take some recommendations. Something mystical, of course. This this channel is about mysticism, uh, metaphysics, esoterica, etc. That sort of new thought. So, n you know, maybe maybe a maybe a text by Neville Goddard. Maybe a text by Neville Goddard. Drop your uh, favorite non-copyrighted uh, metaphysical text in the comment section. Or email me. And we'll see. We'll, we'll probably resume studies mm, eight days from now. So next week Monday. All right, beloved. Again, happy Easter to you. Merry Resurrection Sunday. And may Christ continue to resurrect in you, going from glory to glory. A higher plane on higher ground. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. Wherever you are, God is. Wherever I am, God is. Thank you, God, in us, through us, as us, around us, through the Christ within. And so it is. Ashay.